Welcome everyone to episode 25 of season 19 of Imperium Galactic Survival. Experimental version 1.8. Uh, this episode I want to show you the easy way of taking out the abandoned bunker. Um, before I do anything, however, I want to check one place that I missed. There's one place we didn't look. In uh, the one we just did up north. Uh, let me make sure my ship's empty. Pretty sure I emptied it. Yeah. I made a couple of mining devices that I'll put down also um, during this episode. I'll go after some titanium and some magnesium. We're empty. Fine. First, a quick trip back to the one up north. And pick up the uh, alien container that I missed. Alright, here I am back at the now empty abandoned bunker. Slow down there. I'll leave the engine running. And let's see, make sure we're linked up here. Place I need to go is not too far from here. In fact, I pointed out this container on my way in, but I forgot to grab it on the way out. Sip my mind. Always forgetting stuff like that. This one's right down here. Uh, not that one. It's sort of hidden, and I don't even know if it's a uh, rare or anything, because I've often forgotten it. Rare. Eh, you know, every little bit helps. Take your steel plates. Don't even know if I can get back up out of here this way or not. Can you reach the ladder? That's the question. I don't think you can. Let's see. Recharge. Not quite. All right. We'll have to go out the other way. It's designed that way. It's a trap! Go in there and you can't get out. I hear somebody. Makes you wonder where they're at. Stuck in the walls, maybe? Some place I haven't been yet. Here you're whining. Where are you? You outside here somewhere? Lots of solar panels here too if you want to grab them. Alright, well, I got that final container. It was bugging me, you know. 
the one you left behind. Let's see, do I have a deposit nearby? Yeah, magnesium deposit. Go hit that first, put down our auto miner. Alright, coming up on the magnesium deposit. Needed for rockets and everything. It's really dark out here. It's just a very dark planet at night. I love the uh, the new plants and the in the grasses. Very um, realistic looking. All right, uh, I'll put these down here. the abandoned bunker that we're going to be taking out. Titanium deposits sort of on the way, so we'll hit that. Alright, coming up on the titanium deposit and the sun's coming up. Ooh, look at that beautiful sunrise. A lot of ground fog on this planet. One of those nice wreckages to uh, tear apart. As you can see, it's got lots of thrusters on it. Lots of thrusters. If you're short of uh, Neo and the stuff for thrusters, that's the place to go. Titanium. This is a medium deposit, so it should be pretty nice. Uh, big butt bug over there. Wait, hopefully my guns can kill it. Yeah, I'm not gonna get out of the cockpit until it's gone because it'll shoot at me. Because it's a pain like that. These titanium deposits are always so deep. It's usually a good idea to take them out with uh, auto miners. Because dig them manually and you run out of uh, connection to your drone. get a lot out of there. It is a medium deposit. Alright. Now, to the business at hand. The southerly abandoned bunker. And this one we're going to do the easy way. I hope, anyway.
you never know when they're going to change things up. Um, although the last bunker I did, the last couple episodes, it was laid out the same way as expected. And you're not exactly coring this from the outside, because I don't know where the core is. The only way you could really find the core is if you god moded your way through it. It's buried somewhere in, in a wall where it's not accessible, readily accessible. So, what you got to do is, is trigger that uh, trigger its own self-destruct in that uh, final room. And oddly enough, since they have set up um, with motion sensor triggers, um, it's sensitive to your drone, so you can set that trigger off with your drone. But first we gotta get rid of these sentry guns. really is to try to stay far enough away from the uh, the base that uh, you don't uh, spawn any of the bad guys. That'll give you a free pass once you've destroyed the core just to run through it not worrying about any stragglers that may have spawned. So I try to stay, uh, keep a good distance away from the blocks. One more we gotta get rid of. This is a tricky one. I'm trying not to get too close to the base. Alright. They're all gone. Now, the trick is open up a, a hole into the core room, and from past playthroughs, uh, I, I think the first time I discovered this after playing through normally is I uh, poked a hole with my um, uh, salvage tool and then went up on top and saw where the hole came out. Uh, that thing is being a little destructive. Let's go for pinpoint accuracy here. You could poke this hole anywhere here. I mean, the core room is right under this walkway. I just found a good spot that uh, lines up with that blinking red light right at the end of the walkway. It makes it easy to remember. We do have to go through several blocks. Should be right under this alien block. Yeah, you can see we can see into the room there now. All right. See, I do not want to fall off my ship. So I usually just go away from the uh, base, exit my ship, 
that gets me centered on my cockpit. So now when I go over, over here, again, I'm trying to keep my distance. It's just for neatness sake. You know, so there's no spawnage at all. about here. All right. Now we send in the drones. And there's the uh, trigger. It should react just like if you were here. See, it turns on, hit terminate is that that nice little sign there now I'm just gonna sit up here and wait and waiting's the hardest part one minute 37 seconds later and there it goes the place is now ours see the little red flashing light went out uh, let's see, I am going to turn off the thrusters and the shield. I want to leave the uh, power running because there is some food in here. And, uh, some of you will be asking, why don't I put my own core down and then just loot the uh, containers remotely using the F4? Um, key. The uh, problem is the alien containers don't show up on that uh, remote looting thing. Uh, so you gotta go down there anyway. So you just might as well go and grab them. Anyway, I'll be back once I've loaded my ship up and we'll see what I have. As you can see right here, there's no screamers waiting for us, so it's nice. And the sun's up. Anyway, I'll be back. I'll be back. Eventually. Alright, there's the very last crate. And a door. I took everything. Everything except the blocks that make up this place and that would be uh, pretty good stuff to have as well oh look at that nifty planet up there All right let's get in here and see what we got We got a lot. I had to move some stuff over here because I was running out of spaces over here. See, wait, I picked up two new Epic Plasma Rifles, which is great. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Uh, Epic Laser Minigun, Large Optronic Bridge, Large Matrices, and just a ton of other stuff. Uh, steel, The steel plates and the pulse laser, drill modules, stuff that'll be uh, deconstructed, and other stuff that'll be sold. There's a uh, ammo ammunition laser charge for the uh, SV. If I should so wish to replace my uh, weapon on top. Anyway, what am I doing here? Think. Think the fly <laughs> thing. See, we're 122 tons. We are extremely heavy. Um, I got a bunch of safety and plates. I was taking out some of the armored windows. There's still a ton more of them left. 
here. Uh, look at all that cobalt, all those glass. The stuff I really could have stuck into the factory. May have to if I can't take off. Uh, let's see. Thrusters, shields. Oh, yeah. She's a little sluggish. Just a wee bit sluggish. Uh, home. Over this way. Back home again, home again. Slow down. What are you shooting at? A top gun shouldn't be shooting at uh, predators. I think I had it set to only go after NPCs, unless there's NPCs running around. Which could be, could be some legacy critters, I suppose. Out of the rain. All right. I guess you can hang around while I put this stuff away. I have to put the, the uh, refrigerator stuff anyway. Some seedlings. Finished food. And it goes over there. Yeah. Uh, this is where I'm storing stuff to be sold, but. Uh, as you can see, I can't move any of that in. None of this is stackable, so... Uh, that's going to have to go over into my auxiliary storage. And... For here... Still have plenty of room in my... Input, constructor input. So all the input items go in there. Uh, I think I'm going to sell these, so I'm going to put them in s the sellable items. Minor cores, I'm going to be selling those too. All right, and meds. Picked up a bunch of that, which is always good. Let's fill up our deconstructor. I don't need that repair bay. Uh, I might hold on to one of those pulse lasers. I might swap out the one on top of the ship. Uh, I can deconstruct that ammo. Keep that ammo. And that ammo. I keep that ammo. If I do swap it out, uh, that's the stuff that it uses. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? That's all sellable items. Anything to deconstruct here? T2 assault rifle, so I'll deconstruct those because nobody buys them for some strange reason. Yeah. Ammo. I 
ammo. I don't think I can deconstruct that ammo. I think I tried at one point and it didn't work. So I'm all filled up on those. Put those on my person. It's always where they're needed the most. Yeah, let's see. You got 30 of those, 29 of those. Don't have to worry about that. Ammo. You see, I've been collecting the, the laser charges for the SV. Just in case. I want to use the pulse laser. And let's see. Ore and wood. That's where the energy goes. Uh, weapons. I get to save all my... My good weapons. Here's the other PEM pulse rifle. And I got two more plasma rifles, so I'm all set. I got two more plasma blasters, too. Weapons-wise, I'm in good shape. See, all this stuff is... Uh... Oh, man, I'm all filled up here, aren't I? Oh, I got some stuff here that doesn't belong here. I want to keep carrying my mids with me. As soon as I put it away, that's when I need it the most. It's always the way it happens. Okay. Uh, truckster, ammo, rockets. No, I don't want to do that. Just one of them. Deconstruct that. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, weapons, yes. The laser guy. Raw food. I'll put the water in there. I'm going to trash that. Nobody buys those. Right, I think everything else is sellable. I think I'm going to hold on to the other heavy armor. I'll stick it in there for the time being. The one I'm wearing has uh, been repaired a couple times. It's threatening to wear out. Okay, the rest of that can go. See if any of it stacks. And there you go, some of it did stack. Which is good. And the rest goes into stuff. Alright. I think off camera I'm going to have to make a trip to sell this stuff because uh, really overloaded. That's what I'm looking for. Both the bunkers are done with. I'm going to do the same thing with the abandoned assembly yards. So I'll uh, do one um, legitimately, as it were. Go in through the front door blazing. And the other way I'll show is how to uh, um, do it illegitimately. Sort of like the uh, bunker that we just did. Uh, 
the abandoned assembly has a a room that triggers the core to explode. It's very similar. It's got a, a room that you can open up, uh, hit an opening, you know, um, from the outside, drop in through the hole, throw a couple switches. Uh, the only difference is on this uh, that some soldiers do uh, uh, spawn a few of them that you'll have to take care of before uh, you may be able to throw your switches and before they kill you um, in which case when you just respawn outside you wait for the uh, core to explode after a certain amount of time uh, then you can go in through the front door and work your way down there and kill the stragglers that spawned down in the basement uh, usually there's not that many of them uh, two or three uh, abominations and same thing two or three soldiers but that will be for another episode as always thanks for joining me and i hope to see you again tomorrow